Welcome back to The Fish Room, Alice Louise here, I go by Lou and today we're going to be looking at my five top placos around the fish room at the moment that are going to stay smaller than your average bristle nose. So coming in at number five on today's list is the Barry Ancestress Strasbourgini L239 Blue Black. They are sometimes called Panax because they kind of look like Panax, but they're not Panax, they're um, Barry Ancestress, which means they're closer related to things like um, Gold Nuggets and Magnum Placos. So these are the L239 and they're a deep water bedrock species, normally found in quite rocky, fast flowing habitats. And they're a vegetarian algae grazer, so they are really, really good at eating algae off the glass and they do tend to need a lot of supplementation. So that's one of the reasons why they're number five on today's list. It's because these guys are going to need lots of soil and green, lots of algae wafers, lots of veg. They really seem to like things like sweet potato and courgette. Um, but they will need a little bit of supplementation if they're going to thrive in your normal aquarium. Under the bright lights, these look like a really, really brilliant bright cobalt blue. And the males get these amazing bright orange spikes coming out of their gills as well. So if you've got them under some full spectrum LEDs and they're really happy and you just catch them at the right iridescence, they're absolutely stunning. These have quite a high oxygen requirement, but you do want to keep them around 26 to 30 degrees centigrade, which means that because hot to water holds less oxygen, you're going to want to make sure there's lots of flow and lots of oxygen in this tank for these Barium Sistra species. So coming in at number four today, I have Panaculus Maccus, the L104 Clown Pleco. And these are a really sweet little wood-eating species. They get maybe around seven, eight centimeters tops. And these are really, really commonly suggested as an alternative to bristle noses. They can be really quite variable. So you can get ones like the one on screen now, um, which is really quite stripy, or you can get ones that are almost all sort of brown or black. And the main reason why I've got these down at number four today is because they're really messy for their size. Um, so they're a panacula species, which basically means that they love to chew on wood and things like that. But the problem with this is that they don't actually digest the wood, it actually comes out the other end of them. They're actually uh, eating all the microbes, uh, the fungus, the bacteria, all that kind of stuff that live on the wood. So that wood comes out the other end of them, which can mean that you get a really big pile of um, wood pulp in the bottom of your tank. So for smaller aquariums and those that don't necessarily have very beefy filtration, these are not going to be a very good alternative to a bristle nose. If anything, these are going to produce the same amount of waste or more than a full-size bristle nose. To be honest though, they don't call these clown placos for nothing. So they do have really fun personalities and they can be quite animated with each other. They are always out and about, which does make for quite a happy uh, and active tank inhabitant. And if you did want to go for something that maybe gets a little bit larger than a clown, only by a little bit, um, and maybe something with a little bit more colour, you could go for something like an L397 Alanka Tiger Placo. Coming in at number three today, um, we've got the little Angelicus Placos, L004 slash L005. So L004 are the uh, juvenile ones, they've got slightly larger spots, and then as they grow they'll end up looking a little bit more like this. So the Angelicus like a really clean tank, um, they've not got too much of a bad bio load and they're mostly going to clean up any frozen food and flakes um, of your other fish, which makes them good in the community. They can be a little bit feisty, if you've got other placos or other catfish in the tank, these will um, generally turf them out and be boss, they'll, um, they'll make sure that their presence is known. Um, but as far as placos go, they can't really do too much damage and aside from a little bit of a, a, a push and a shove here and there, they're pretty peaceful as far as plants go. So these are going to max out around 8-9 centimetres tops, um, which does put them on the, the, the smaller end as far as fish go. Um, and they've got this gorgeous jet black patterning with the lovely bright white spots. So the Angelicus, you're looking at a female here. Generally males are much spikier and the dorsal fin and the pectoral fins are a little bit more obvious. Um, so you're looking for spikes out the gills. You can see on this nice plump lady that she doesn't really have very many spikes to speak of at all. And the Angelicus, they like it quite warm as well as a nice clean tank without too much stuff on the bottom. So keep them around 26 to 30 degrees. Generally around 27, 28 is gonna suit these just fine. Here we go, 
coming in at number two on our list today is the L134 Leopard Frog Pleco. These are from the lower Amazon and they're normally found in relatively clear water habitats. Um, normally where the, the flow is actually quite still um, and they're more omnivorous so they, they fit in very well with community fish um, and will settle into a wide range of habitats actually. They kind of like it anywhere between sort of 24 and 28C. Um, I tend to keep them around 26, 27 degrees C. Um, and you can just feed these guys a mixture of frozen foods, flakes, algae wafers. They're pretty um, easy to please. And once you've got them tamed up, they're really, really personable. And they're quite an active fish um, that you're generally going to see quite a lot as well. And to be honest, the only reason these didn't make it onto top position today is because these are actually the largest fish on the list today. These are going to max out around 10, 11 centimetres, including the tail, which does only make them a tiny smidgen smaller than your normal bristle nose. Um, but they're amazing personality and that really striking pattern more than makes up for that. So coming in at number one for me today are the L262 Fine Spotted Plecos. These are a little high pan cistrus. They're only going to get maybe eight, nine centimeters. So a similar sort of size to the Angelicus. Um, but I've bundled these in. We've got the L262s, which are the Spotted Queens or the Fine Spotted. Um, I think some people call them Stardust as well. And that's also going to be bundled in with the L260s, which are the Queen Arabesques. I haven't actually got any of those in at the moment, but they're basically, if you imagine these, but with really intense stripes instead of spots. So depending on whether you're a spots or a stripes person, you've got a little bit of both. So these will eat a little bit of algae off the glass. They will help keep the tank clean. They're more of an omnivorous species. Um, they're not gonna do loads and loads of algae. If you've got a really bad tank, they're not really gonna do um, their magic on that. They're not really that type of fish. But they are gonna clean up after your other fish. They're gonna eat any flakes, any uneaten food, um, which is really gonna help manage any snail populations and things like that. But because they only get eight or nine centimeters and they've got a really low bio load, as well as this really, really beautiful pattern. These are gonna make it top of my list for today. And I'm really, really enjoying having these in the fish room at the moment. And these don't like it too warm. So around 27 degrees C max for these, which means that they are gonna be more comfortable with a wider variety of fish. Mainly just because compared to something like the Angelicus Placos, you don't need to worry about keeping them really warm, um, which is gonna suit a, a wider range of fish tank mates. And some honourable mentions, we've got the L471 Dwarf Snowball and the L129 Colombian Zebra. Just too shy to make it onto today's list, but they're smaller than everyone. Also on the shy list are the L201 Snowballs. Very popular, but also too shy. So, which one did you like the best? Would you rearrange this list and put any higher or lower? Give me a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.